Welcome back to The Wedding Course. I'm here again with my dear friend Pace of Taste of Pace, and today she's giving us the difference between buffet, plated, and family-styled meals for all of you who are curious about that. And I have so many opinions about that. <laughs> um, all right, so let's start with buffet, because I feel like poor buffet gets such a bad rap. It People, does. Man, <laughs> I, the things I hear, I'm like, we also can offer buffets now. They're like, no, I can't have buffet. I just I cannot have it. People don't like the fact that people have to get up from the table and come to it, but it's like, ah, oh, so much sitting anyway in the ceremony. Like, let's move around a little bit. Um, also, they have, I think, nightmarish visions of like, you know, pieces of kale decorating platters and like huge and silver trays, chafing dishes, and, and, yeah, gross mm -hmm. things like that. Yep. And I'm like, no, 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 like those days are behind us. You don't have to worry about that anymore. We work with the florist who usually has trimmings. We're like, okay, um, just bring extra for the buffet, tiny little vases. Like it just makes such a big difference. And we bring the buffet, we style it out with candles and use a lot of our own in-house platters subject to availability, of course. But see, you know, at your tasting, if they have any of that stuff to make it to enhance it. To enhance it. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, I eat with my eyes first, so I like to see a huge table filled with all different kinds of things. I think that's so fun, so everyone gets to try as much of whatever it is that they want. Um, it's a feast for the eyes. So family style is the next level up. It's a little more expensive because you have to have more people plating up in the kitchen um, because as opposed to a buffet where there's one, two, or three stations, there's like 10 plus tables. Each one needs a, a each dish, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to have more labor in the kitchen and you also have to have more service on the floor as opposed to buffet where you're really managing the buffet, pouring uh, wine and water at the tables. So they're just running a lot more plates of food. Yep. Um, the thing about buffet... Uh, sorry about family style is that I don't know if I love it as a consumer just sitting down I feel like it's really hard unless the tables are completely separated which to be honest with you nowadays I'm seeing rows of tables together and for family style service it's really really hard um, even if your our service staff is coaching the guests oh please take this and pass it to your right and there's a ballet of how it works but in the end, I feel like as a guest, I'm like, you're making me kind of work for it like Thanksgiving. I'm having to, you know, this <laughs> tray. They're heavy too. They're, they can be heavy and yeah. a little bit awkward. Um, and like I tell you, no matter how many times you tell the planner or the florist, like, this is family style. We're gonna need 48 inch wide. They don't oh. care. They're gonna fill that table. And you need space with, and it's normally filled with tables. There's nowhere to put the stupid and... platters. Nobody listens to the poor caterer. <laughs> you know, so all the time the servers are like, oh, we're really trying hard out there, but da da da. And you don't wanna pull the flowers or the candles from the table. Yeah. So it just never really works out exactly the way you think Can it will. You photograph beautifully at the right moment. Yeah, and it <laughs> like, has a fun vibe to it. Yeah. Um, so I, I get it, but then I feel like too, we make each plate really beautiful, right? Each you dish, do. a side of vegetables, right? So then it gets to the last person and you've like got this much left on the plate, the sauce and the it's here. It's always kind of sad when you're like, I get the last little piece. So, as, and of course we refill the platters and make sure we go around and serve people French style, make sure everybody has plenty of everything. Nobody's not wanting for anything. Or you get this table with a pile of potatoes. This person's like, I didn't get any potatoes. You're like, oh God. So... <laughs> You know, I, I don't know, definitely I don't love it from a logistics angle on our end, but as a guest, I still prefer buffet over family style. You what know? would you say, would you say family style, because I know it kind of is the craze, right? Like a lot of people are thinking it's a good medium between plated and buffet. <clears throat> Do you recommend it's probably better for a wedding of like 40 or 50 compared to like a wedding of 200? Like, do you find that it works better with sure. maybe a smaller number? Sure. A smaller number, that would be good. Like a 50 person is probably the sweet spot for, I think, a, a really good experience. Um, then plated um, is what I'm definitely not seeing a lot of. Really? Because I think we're more casual mm -hmm. in Southern California. Not necessarily inexpensive, but people want to appear that they're doing something different and plated has been around for so long um we love doing eight course tasting menus believe Ooh, me you yeah. know and that's what i kind of say that's worth it if you're gonna spend some money on food like let's do an eight course tasting menu nothing that you would expect to see at a wedding anyway but if you're just gonna do a salad entree dessert like 
in my opinion, I'm like, don't even bother. Yes, it's elegant service, but either like go big or go home unplated. <laughs> That's kind of my opinion of that. And that is the white glove service. I love doing it because it runs, you know, just, we just have lines of food coming out in the kitchen. Everything is very precise, very organized. You probably can't see this, but I have mise en place tattooed on my arm. We'll get a picture of it. <laughs> um, and that means it's a French kitchen term for put in place. So it's a really beautiful service and beautiful to deliver with our servers. Um, I could go on and yes. on about no, that. It's a very dramatic entry when you have everybody with the white glove coming yeah. in with the food. It's, it's but I'm seeing a lot of people are kind of like, we want something to feel more relaxed. and But it's, it's like fashion trends. You right. know, casual clothes are more in than being really dressed up. And we'll see that. It's cyclical like everything else. We'll see that change, I'm sure. Very true. Mm -hmm. It's very true. And I mean, think being true to yourself too is the couple. Like if you want to go for that, go for that. But you have to find what works for you. And they definitely um, are price tiered. So buffet's the least expensive and family style's the middle and plated is the most uh -huh. expensive because you need much more staff for And that. I think that's what you find across the board at yeah. any hotel with any caterer, you'll kind of find for the most part the same, the same trend mm -hmm. in pricing. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, thank you, Pace, for breaking that down for us. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, I hope that you'll like and comment and don't forget to subscribe so that you can get more wedding planning tips to plan your special day with confidence with the wedding course. Cheers. <laughs>